Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Gavin Robinson and thanks for checking out this video, man. I am going to break down for you guys how to place a trade on your MetaTrader 4 mobile app. Um, I have an Android device, so if you have an iPhone, it will look slightly different. But, uh, you know, the functionality and principles are pretty much the same, all right? So, when you first open your MetaTrader 4 app, you're going to see the quote screen. And if let's look to the bottom left, this icon, this is what it will show you, the quotes. And right next to it, we'll show you the charts. And then uh, right there next to that, we'll show you there are any active trades you have running. And then right next to that, that, uh, that icon, the next icon is going to show you your history. So if you have any closed out trades, it's going to show you like your overall profit for the day. And if you want to customize it and see what you did for the week, you can click on the top right icon that looks like a calendar, and that's going to allow you to choose you know, for the last week, last month, etc. All right, so let's jump to the quote screen and go and execute a trade. Now, you're going to look for the currency pair you want, so you must know this at, you know beforehand. And if you do not, guys, see the currency pair listed that you want to execute a trade for. All you simply do is click on the plus sign to your top right, all right? And then you can either open uh, one of the folders, if you know exactly what you're looking for, or you can click on the magnifying glass and type in search, the currency pair you want to search for. So let's look for um, a Great Britain Pound pair, since I like trading the Great Britain Pound. GBP and then hit search. So boom, all right? Any Great Britain Pound pairs, it will come up. And if you don't see it come up, guys, it just simply means you have to manually go through the folders and look for them, all right? That happens sometimes. So I'm gonna select Euro to Great Britain Pound. So then we're gonna hit left, top left here, go back, go back, and it should be at the very bottom. Boom, here it is. So let's execute a trade now on the Euro to Great Britain Pound. Now, you can click, hold down on it, right? When you, once you click on the currency pair you want to execute the trade on, you're going to see new order, right? But let's first look at the chart. So I'm going to open the chart first to see, you know, what, uh, where exactly we're going to enter. Our, so this is an overall downtrend. So let's just, let's just go with the trend because you know they say the trend is your friend, right? So this is a downtrend. So what we're gonna do is sell. So when it's going down, it's a sell. When it's going up, it's a buy. These red bars are sell. So it's a downtrend. You can see overall it's going down. So we're gonna place a sell on Euro GBP. So we go back to the quote screen, click new order, and to the very top. You see market execution. Now with market execution, all this simply means is this is where you instantly enter the market, all right? And I want you guys to click on market execution and you're going to see four other options. And these other options are called pending orders. Now with pending orders, it just means you're not going to enter the market immediately. Um, the market, well your order, your trade order is going to be activated once price hits the point that you enter there all right so that's we're going to do a market execution and then go back and enter you know one of these pending orders now with a market execution oh, sorry underneath market execution you see a point zero one which is uh, what we call our lot size and lot size is simply determines you know our level of risk which will determine the amount of money we make or lose all right so 0 0.01 is 10 cents per pip, and if we change this to you know 0 0.10, that would be a dollar per pip, and if I change it to one, all right, 0 0.00, that would be ten dollars per pip. So for this uh, demonstration case, we're going to use 0 0.1, 0 0.01, sorry, right? So 10 cent per pip. Now underneath that. You guys can see the red, there's a red field with some zeros, that's where we're going to put our stop loss. And then there's um, the field on the right with the green, which we're going to put our take profit. Now stop loss is your safety net that's going to prevent you from, you know, losing all the money in your account. And to the right, the take profit is simply, you know, speaks for itself. It's going to take, that's where you take your profits out of the market. So in trading, 
you know we you know we make our money um, you know from when we enter the market or when we exit the market so this is basically how we're gonna get you don't have to be staring at your phone all day to close out trades you know once price hits any of these areas automatically then your your trade will be closed all right so let's talk about the stop loss now we're, uh, since we're gonna place to sell we're going to need to place a stop loss that's uh, above the current price. So the current price as you can see is 8706. So we need to place, place a uh, price higher than 8706. So let's place 873. Uh, and then our tier profit, meaning that price will drop lower, we're going to put that at 865. Uh, All right. So there we have our stop loss guys you always want to trade with stop loss and, and execute and practice proper risk management and um you know in terms of risk management that's where you would utilize you know your lot size you know in accordance to the balance that you have in your account so uh replacing the sell we're just going to hit sell by market we're not going to place a buy because if we try to place a buy it's going to give us an error i won't click on it right now because you know I don't want to go over all that again, but yeah, sell by market. And boom, we are automatically into the trade. As you can see here, guys, uh, Euro to the Great Britain Pound is actively running. You can click on it to expand to see, you know, you'll see your date, uh, where you enter, the current price. All right. Uh, you can see stop loss, etc. Also the commission, because, you know, every time you enter the market, um, you know your broker is going to take a take that little commission usually takes that little commission depending on your broker and the type of account you have all right so let's talk about well look uh, I had a current a trade running before as you can see my balance went from fifty dollars to forty eight seventy so let's look at the history now and here you have right the history shows you a losing trade because that's where it closed out I had you know stop loss pretty close it was just for demo purposes so I didn't do any analysis or anything, but yeah, that's where you would go to see, you know, your, as I said, summary for your day. Now, if you want to modify, guys, um, an existing trade, a current trade, you know, what you would do is simply go here, hold down on it, and click on modify order, and then you can adjust any of the parameters. So let's adjust our stop loss. We're going to change it from 873 to 8742. Click on modify and that's good to go all right now if you go i'm going to hold on here again but click on chart and now when i do that you guys can see all right um if you look closely these little dotted lines going across you can see sl that's where my stop loss is and for my um for my take profit Boom, you can see it right there. And the way I just, that, this circle that comes up, guys, this allows me to change the time frame. So as you can see here, M1 is the minute chart, M5, five, five minute, 50 minute, 30 minute, one hour, four hour, daily, weekly, monthly chart, all right? That's all that means. But I'm gonna go through that in another video. But, so we have entered our trade, and what's the next thing I said I was gonna do? Oh yes, enter one with a pending order. So you can enter multiple trades, you know, with the same currency pair. So let's go here again and enter a new order for the very same Great Britain Pound. But this time, we're going to do a pending order. We're going to do a sell stop, all right? Meaning that when trade, when the, um, when the price gets to this point, all right? Actually, let me do a buy stop. So I'm I'm anticipating a demo analysis and I think you know what at some point the market is going to reverse and price is going to get to you know maybe eight eight um five three right so whenever the market gets to eight eight five three zero I am automatically going to enter the trade and I wouldn't have to be staring at my phone for that that's going to happen immediately. I'm actually going to trade now at a dollar, or actually two dollars per pip, right? Two dollars per pip, and 
we're going to enter the price point. So the price, since we're placing a buy, has to be above the current price. So um, we're going to use 88, um, 6, 7, 6, 7, 5, and a stop loss, which has to be lower than the current price, 88407. All right, you click place, and boom. So as you can see, it's different now. There's nothing running because it's a pending order. This is going to stay here until, you know, as you can see, look above, guys. All right. Let me expand this a little bit. You can see uh, buy stop. Here it is. Good. So that's going to stay there until, you know, price, whenever price gets there, if it ever gets there. But you can always go back and delete it if you change your money. You don't think, you know, it's not going to hit there anymore. You can come back and delete it. All right. So, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you've uh, learned something. If you did, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. And if you found any value, man, you know, share with somebody. Share with somebody, right? So, stay tuned to the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. If you are not involved in our company, you know what I mean? Definitely reach out to me or whoever invited you to see this video because I've never done trading. I'm sorry, I've never traded before as before, you know, getting involved in our company. And, you know, it's really been amazing. I'm learning a lot, as you can see, and I can now teach others. So if you're interested in learning this skill, definitely reach out to, you know, like I said, whoever shared this video with you or get back to me. All right. Thanks a lot. Be great.